so what won the last poll for guides? Something, something, I have Haskell Lies and also Ions. Alright, so let's do Ions right now, guys. Let's go do a practice game as New Republic, because X-Wings are cooler than Defenders. Who knows that? Um, do you guys want me to mute or... Uh, do you want to listen to me and talk in the... Uh, all right. I might, I might mute myself just so I don't miss you. Oh, cool. I mean, I'll go. If you have questions, feel free to pipe up. So let's build an all-ions X-Wing here. And we're, we're going to talk about this without Mark first. And we're going to talk about the different things you can do to a flagship. Um, and then we're going to talk about the different things that you can do to, um, to actual starships and how, the, how all the ion damage affects everything else. So... Um, so on a flagship, this is, this is pretty simple, guys. So iron damage is, like, pretty straightforward. It does, their iron damage is a lot more than standard damage, so it takes a lot, a lot less effort. It's much easier to ion down any kind of capture or anything than it is to, uh, ion down, um, you know, obviously it's easy to ion down shields. It's also way easier to ion a stealth system than to kill it. So, for example, one ion missile and a few ion lasers. Oh, a few more. Yeah, there it is. Disable on the gen. So it takes about a second of ion lasers and one ion missile to disable a gen. So something that we played around with in, um, I think it was Calrissian Cup, was ion laser ion missile on one of our players to disable um, subsystems. And this let us get interesting things like, you know, disable a gen, then we only have to kill one gen in order to disable shields, and then you can get power using, um... Now it takes a lot of rockets for some reason. Uh, rockets don't do the full amount of iron damage necessarily. There we go. And you can see it's very quick for a ion missile, ion rocket, ion laser X-Wing to just take out all of the subsystems, like like make them completely ineffective. I think this is massively underutilized at all levels right now. Like the amount of hurt, like I don't have to be in for very long, I don't have to be very vulnerable, I just get the subsystems. And by taking all ion, right, ion missile, ion laser, ion rockets, super easy to do this. So you can see this, this generator is like, now it's not ionized anymore, so it's gonna take a while to come back up, and it's already like re-ionized. Um, I can do the same for the Evergen using the ion missile. So let's go over specifics of like how this actually works. Well, what are the mechanics here? I'm gonna remove the flagship again. But let's let's look at damages first. Let's look at damages first, and then we'll look at the um, mechanics of like exactly how much does it take to ion something, and so on and so forth. So first. Ion Cannon, 1600 DPS, uh, Ion DPS. It is distance dependent, so if you're closer, there's more Ion damage. Um, ion Missile, 6000 Ion damage straight up. It takes 7000, okay? 7000 Ion damage to disable a gen. So one Ion Missile on its own is not enough. Ion Rockets, 300 damage. This is a little less misleading because Rockets will do a little less damage to, um, a little bit less Ion damage to subsystems. Um, sometimes. It's it's kind of like the torpedoes in that like it kind of just sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. You have to use a lot more rockets than you necessarily expect. So we're on the side of spamming your ion rockets. Um, so what happens when you disable one gen? Um, when you disable a single generator, it um, it gets disabled and the, de and the disable debuff lasts for 30 seconds. And then there is a 30 second cooldown after that before the shields will start regenerating, but only if both are disabled. So, you see there, just a few ion laser shots and an ion missile, which I just locked on just to be safe, and it's gen disabled, but you'll notice all of the shields are still up. Now, if I ion down the shields a bunch, um, the recharge rate is going to be halved for about a minute while the generator tries to come back up. Um, so, it, so even if, like in your low level games guys, even if you don't get disables in both gens, just disabling one gen can still be value. Um, just because it's equivalent, it's not quite, it's not exactly equivalent to killing a gen, right? Because it's not literally dead. But um, 
it does mean that the like your level of the gains, passive damage or something else will usually bring down the shields, and then you'll get a bunch of hull damage afterwards. Um, and having less regeneration means you're a little bit doing a little bit more damage. So even if you like mess up your run, you only get one of the gens, like not the end of the world, you still added a little bit of value. Wasn't quite what you're looking for, but still helpful. And obviously, once you disable both gens, then the shields go all the way down. Um, and again, 30 seconds is the time the gen is disabled. And then, um, what is it called? Um, and then 30 seconds for the shields to start coming back up. So, right, so like, for example, if you iron torp the shields down, it takes 30 seconds like if I just like if I just shoot the shields here on this fresh flagship, it will take about thirty seconds for once uh, once the shields are down. Maybe a little less because it'll start regenerating before that. But it'll but the shields will go down. And it'll take a little bit of time before the shields come back up. So let's just emulate that right now. And you see, like you can do some meaningful damage to just the shields of the ISD just by shooting of ion lasers and rockets and stuff. But it is slower than just getting the gens. Do iron missiles. You can see the regeneration rate is uh it takes a little while to do this with one person. If we had two people doing this, the shields would just be down. But then that's two people that don't necessarily have like that's that's job is entirely just to disable shields. Um can be a little unfortunate. So we just got shields down. Um this time is and like it just came back up a little bit, so let's bring it down again and see how long it takes. I'm gonna stop watch. Say like 10 seconds from there. So. And so th this isn't a build to recommend, guys. This is just. I'm using the triple ion just because the. I think it's cool. And also, it's very cool to um, like show you guys how much damage Ion does. So that was that was a full 30 seconds that the shields are down. So every 30 seconds is how long it takes for the shields to come back up. And they come back up at a pretty high percentage, right? Um, but you can still just kind of Ion them down again. So that's like another option for you guys. Also, one thing that I want to note, really easy to ionize tractor beams, right? Like one second, and they're and they're both ionized now. So if you happen to have ion lasers on capture offense, ionize attractor beams. Super quick, super easy. Um, disables them for thirty seconds, um, which is, which can be a big help, especially in lower level games where people are used to flying around the underside of the ISD and often get caught and stuff. So that's very good. Um, another thing to note: uh, blue spots. So I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy power real quick and show you how blue spots. Um, how much damage you do to blue spots? That is the weak spots, um, the breaches on the Star Destroyer with your ion lasers. It's not a lot. So there's one down there. I'm gonna, just gonna stop and shoot it. Tractor beam, no big deal. And see, I'm not really doing much meaningful damage to it. It eventually goes down, but that's like a whole like two seconds doing damage to it. You do something like 17, 20 DPS, something like that um, with those ions. Which, you know, isn't doesn't doesn't really feel good, right? Okay, the last thing to know about um oh yeah, by the way, ion damage kills power. Um if you guys didn't already know. Um and the last thing to note is that we're curious about is does ironing, does adding ion damage after a gen is disabled increase the time that it's disabled? So let's ionize this one first. That's ioned. Let's ionize this guy. There's an icon in the bottom in the targeting computer. It's that little uh, yellow square with an arrow inside it. The yellow bracket with an arrow inside it. So we just ionized the right gen after the left gen. I'm just gonna add some ion damage into this. Just ion missile it again. And let's see how, much, how long. So we can see right here, right? I have the gen that I did not add ion damage to, target lock, so we can see on our targeting computer when it stops being disabled. So it's been getting close to 30 seconds now. Getting there, getting there, getting there. And I've been adding more ion damage to the other gen. 
Okay, so that gen is done being disabled. And so this gen is still still disabled. And so I'm gonna start my stopwatch here. So we're at and see just how long it's disabled for. And it shouldn't be more than 30 seconds. It should be between it should be like 15 seconds. 15 to 20 seconds. We're at 10 seconds now. So when you add ion damage to this, um, whenever you add ion damage, it like adds to like the disabled duration with a maximum of 30 seconds. If it was already disabled, um, then however much time remaining, um, whatever ion damage you do adds to however much time is remaining on the disable. Does that make sense? Think of it like a, okay, that was, that was a whole 30 seconds, guys. That was a whole 30 seconds that that gem was disabled um, after after the aorum got disabled. So if there is a disabled generator and you add some ion damage, fantastic, it's going to stay disabled. So if you're in like this kind of ion X-Wing, you can keep the gens disabled forever. Just by just by popping like a little bit of extra laser fire into it um, and getting those sweet, sweet, uh, whoops. Get those sweet disables, do some dodging, make people hate you for like disabling their cap ship when they can't they when they can't hit you. Zoom. And you can do this right with like and this means that if you have to like spend an ion missile to do it on one, you can ion laser the other and that'll stay disabled, even if it takes like 20 seconds for you to do all that. So yeah, this is a really powerful playstyle, guys. Um Ions are super useful also for shooting, for like pressuring defenders. It's a really, really, it's actually a very strong playstyle to just be the disabler. Um, it's not used very often because people like player killing, because player killing and doing capture damage is right now extremely versatile. But that doesn't mean that this kind of playstyle is useless, right? And it's really fun. Like, like, it's not like, like, it's not like the most competitive, but it's really fun to just disable everything and set up kills for your allies. Just be in VC with like an interceptor who can follow up, you know what I mean? Um, and with this kind of build, you can really, really put a lot of ion damage on cruisers and stuff, right? Like, cruiser shields, just gone. Raider shields, just gone. And, you, and then you're on players, and it's just like, wow. Um, so for, let's go to, I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer from the chat, guys, for the, um for the in-game ion uh, demonstration. Someone to get, someone to hop in into custom games and stuff uh, to test out some ion things. Show them, show some stuff off. I have footage, but I'd rather like do it live. Anyone, anyone? Let me see if APOG's on. Maybe, maybe the science team's on, hang on. So let's, let's slow down, let's slow down, no dying. That should work, all good, all good. I'll find someone. Science team! Degenerates! Hey, is anyone free to, uh, oh, oh. anyone free to help me with some science real quick? Uh, there's a, some science or... of a different sort happening right now. Hey, I know, I know, it came with, like, an awkward time. Alright, not so much. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Help with science APOG? Disable her, bam, oh my god, destroyed. Yeah, so, um, let's see if I can find the footage while we're waiting. Yeah. So, um, while we get set up in the Never Lobby, guys, um, so the way Mark interacts with this is very, very interesting. So if you use targeting beacons on on a thing, um, sub APOG, uh, then it takes increased ion damage, whether it's a fighter or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna show it here because it just takes a bit, um, but, uh, oh, if you need to go APOG, um, Potato is also willing to uh, to help out. Um, I mean, it's up to you. Right. As long as it's short, it doesn't matter. Cool. Two, big, thick, restless, yep. Public password. Password's ion, guys. Just ion, I O N ion. They'll just make the match public in it with the password ion. And I'll send you an invite or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it actually helps with free people because then we can show how like mark affects things too. So the different things. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so the different things that affect ion damage, right? So all ion damage stacks with each other. So if you have two different sources of ion, 
super super helps out. Um, if you actually, have actually yeah, no hmm? password. Huh? There's actually no password. Oh. Really? They're not hit. Hey, oh, whatever. All right, whatever. Whatever. We'll go below the station. We're not gonna worry about it. <laughs> um. Okay, so, what do you want me to be in? Yeah. So, uh, be in a. It'll be easiest to show if you're in like a bomber. I think. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. It's all I fly. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Um. Yeah, just because it has a large pool, uh, it, it takes the most eye damage to down, so it's e so it shows most clearly the differences in the different uh, what shots and things. And what's really underutilized is just like an ion disabler ship that just goes after bombers and stuff. Mostly because defenders just kind of fly around and you can't and you get sad. Anyway. Like an A an I an A-wing with ion rockets is I think very underutilized. Yeah, so under the station. Under, got it. Yeah, under the station. Uh Detenshi, if you wanna come in, come in and support with beacons. And uh exclamation discord if you wanna join the Discord call. So let's look for players. Yeah, so I'm just Actually, under the I station. We're in a private call right now. Oh yeah, yeah, let's let's move over to my farmhouse. That'll work. Exclamation discord in the chat, boys. There we go. Okay, so let's demonstrate how long it takes. Just just regular non-overcharged ion lasers to blast APOG from like let's let's start at long range and then we'll do a close range. Hello. Hello, how's it going? So at 600 yeah. meters. About two sec two and a half, two and a half seconds. Let's go even farther away. Ooh. Yeah, it's good from 800 meters, even longer, like three seconds. So like distance matters a lot when you're ionizing a target, right? And then when you get really close, like, oh God, bump distance, whoops, sorry. No I think I'm running reinforced tall on this. Really close, like 100 meters, super quick. Like that was, that was, that would probably would have been one and a half seconds to ionize. And then- I can mark it out. You can see like, it doesn't, it doesn't, when you sh keep, when you shoot it, 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 um, as you continue to put on ion damage, it's much like boost energy in that if you put out a little ion damage, the decay on the ion damage pauses. So, a little bit down, I hit it, it pauses. Right? And so if I just keep pecking him with the ion damage, eventually he'll get ionized. But if I, but if he gets behind cover or something and I stop shooting him, no more ion. Now with rockets, right? See rockets do a re pretty reasonable amount of ion DPS. Not actually like a lot more than lasers, so it's important to be able to double up and stuff. I'm getting shot a little bit here. Let's go a little bit under the middle of the station. Um, one interesting thing is that ion rockets don't actually do damage to hull, but ion lasers do. So I, if I ion laser him, it goes down to 47, 46. If I ion rocket him, um, no damage, right? And of course, if I ion rocket and ion laser together, it takes way less time to ionize. So we'll just wait for the ion ions to all go away, and then super quick, right? Super quick, super quick disable, the fastest disable you've ever seen in your life, except for maybe an ion missile gank. And so here's how here's how ion missiles work, guys. So APOG fly straight, or just just boost straight, just boost straight. So if you fire an ion missile right, and he's boosting, keep boosting, keep boosting. It takes a, oh uh, man, didn't manage to uh, like get past it this time. But a lot of times you won't be able to like, it won't it won't necessarily hit if Apog's like boosting straight and I fire from a, like a long distance away. Um, do you have a lot of energy? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and start boosting. Yeah. There you go. And see, Apog can actually like outrun the ion missile if you just fire it from a long way away. So let's do a little mini lesson on. Um, on I'm hitting ion missiles. Um, so do it again. Uh, in three seconds, start boosting. Nope. Oh, sorry, hold on, sorry, sorry. All good. So you lock on, boost close right. to him, fire the missile, oh. and instant disable, right? Like he did, he was like, oh, like what happened? Yeah, you're disabled. Yeah. Um, so the way you do that again, you want to get close-ish, like 400 meters. Then turn the lock on, boost in, fire the ion missile, and it just beams towards him because the ion missile retains your momentum from boosting. So like this, 
instant disable. Even if he, even if he's moving, as long as you shoot below about 300, 200, very quick disables. And people aren't going to be able to react to this because on his screen, he doesn't get the notification that he's even being target locked until after I fire the missile or until as I fire the missile a lot of the time. Yep. Yep. Let's show now. Let's show really quickly how it works with Mark. Um. Oh. Oh no. Detenshi is. Oh. People. People yeah. are just kind of <laughs> here, not shooting, which is nice. Um. Okay. Yeah. yeah I can Detenshi. actually become. Yeah, yeah, come, you're here? Yeah, go ahead and mark him. Yeah, I'm marking him. Okay, okay. Mark it. I have a shield, though, for some reason. Okay. Yeah, so you see, like, that's super quick ions, and that's just lasers and mark, right? I didn't have a lot of overcharge there. Um, and then with overcharge, right, so he's still marked. Super quick disable, super quick, super quick. So when you start stacking all these benefits, like if you're having tr trouble ironing people, guys, it's because you need some of these buffs. Ion's all about teamwork and all about taking good opportunities. So, using ion, using ion rockets, um, having over, having a little bit of overcharge ion, taking the shots at close range, all of these things are super, super important. Um, right? It's ion's all about the gank potential and getting the good positioning in order to gank. Um, and obviously, right, if you have ions from two sources, like two ion A-wings, that's another way to get, like, a lot of ion damage and really disable the target. And then you can, after the two ion lasers have ion disabled them, maybe you can use, like, quick locks and clusters as a team to take them, take someone down. Right, like, even the TIE Bomber, which you would think would be pretty hard to ion, can get ioned pretty darn easily if you, um, if you're really trying. I think that's all we need you for, a -Punk. Um, okay. Yep, thanks so much for being yeah. target. As a reward, you may ram me. Oh, nice. Come on, come on, point towards me. Are you ready? Ram! Oh no. my god, no. <laughs> All right, try again, try again. Ram! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it 1680 DPS overcharge? No, that's just regular IM DPS. Um, there's a cooldown on disable, right? Um... No, so so the way ion disable works is as soon as they're finished being disabled, you can start shoot. They'll they'll start taking ion damage again, after afterwards. So, like you can ion missile someone and then immediately start like ion lasering them afterwards. So if I want to bully like the support over here, I could ion missile gank them and then ion them again. So let's see. Oh, he's marked too. So this is even better. So again, even if they're marked, they can boost away. So you want to wait until they're really close like this. Okay, so he's ioned. And then we're gonna ion rocket laser him. Oh, there is a cooldown. It's like it's like a quick cooldown. It's like a one second. Okay, yeah. Okay, interesting. So I learned something new today. There's a one. There's about one second where he won't take ion damage, but after that, it's all fair game. So yeah. So that's how ions work, guys. Ions are super powerful. I recommend them for team play. If you can find someone to to team up with either a support or um, an interceptor or another fighter, like anyone who can follow up on those ion kills, it's super, 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 super good. Is Defender escape window? Yeah, true. Um, but also, like, a, if, if it, it takes very, very little damage to destroy a disabled defender, um, or even, like, a defender who's just lost rear shields and hasn't reacted to um, move stuff around yet. So it's very powerful, guys. I recommend it. Um, I really, I really do recommend like this kind of like, like even this kind of like full ion build just to try it out, see what you can do. It, as of anything, um, ion lasers tend to kill. True, true, also true. Um, if you can get a lot of shots on in that in that window, ion lasers do tend to kill defenders. Um, so yeah, like uh, a lot of builds are gonna feel kind of wonky the first time you try them. That's just true for all builds, not just ion. Um, it's just a very different play style, and this is very much more about making opportunities than it is necessarily like um, your normal, like standard lasers kind of stuff, right? And obviously, right, like it's super specialized, but it's super good at what it does. Thoughts on ion primary bombers, Y wing bomber. So, ion primary bombers are very interesting because um, ion, bo ion cannon tie bombers in particular. Are going to be doing a lot of like they they the ion primary on the bomber does more ion damage than otherwise um the issue on the y wing is that the it's harder to to kind of like have that movement where you can kind of gank players and do this kind of like sudden ion 
like suddenly get behind someone and start ion shooting them like you would with an A-Wing or an X-Wing. Um, and you don't really have other augs that really capitalize on that in the same way. It's more about like, like for, for fulfilling a role of like the ion gank slash disabler, um, the X-Wing just makes a lot more sense because it's so so much more mobile, so much, uh, and can take like, and it can really like slide into that specialist role by taking more of the ion specific um, auxiliaries. Um, now the Tie Bomber, on the other hand, is a very interesting like player disabler because it's very tanky. Um, it has a lot of a. Uh, and it has it has the ability to like really overcharge and dead drift and like really just dogfight like the defender like the like the like that thing is straight up a dogfight ship um if you want it to be right it's a uh, very crazy i guess we're just playing a fleet battle now um so like there there's an interesting meme where you can use the you can use a tie bomber as a tanky like backline diver that goes after y wings and stuff with its ion cannons because unlike a defender it's not vulnerable to ions so there's nothing that can really force a bomber to peel off except for a lot of concentrated laser damage and in the meantime your y wing is getting beamed down by all of this um all of this, uh, all this ion damage is stripping its shields, making it vulnerable, even disabling it to make it even more vulnerable. And whenever you're disabled, the Y wing gets a real feels bad because that's time where um, the enemy team can like gang up on you and get a better position on you. It's not just the damage; it's the position in order to do more damage, like get on your tail, um, get on you from multiple angles, all that kind of stuff. So, ion Y wings and stuff. Not, not necessarily, like, the strongest here. As you can see, it's super... Like, he's not marked or anything, um, but I'm still able to get the Ion Disable off quite consistently. I'm not going to go for that there because I have, um... Not close enough. But this guy, I could probably try to Ion Disable. If, if nothing else, he can force him to pull off. Um, he got him... He died that time, but, you know, it happens. Um... That's a powerful tactic. Obviously, like, really, really good players won't necessarily fly like this. It's more proof of concept and everything. Yeah, um, that's it for the YouTube video, guys. Smash that like and subscribe. And uh, enjoy enjoy the ions. Uh, check out check out my Twitch stream and everything. All the things. All the things. Links in the description, etc., etc.